Hello, in this video we'll take a look at selecting and manipulating solids and curves inside Moai. First of all let's create a box, so let's click on the box icon here in the draw solid panel and let's pick a corner and the second corner like this. Let's also make a sphere. So click on the sphere, pick center point, like this, left click, drag and left click again. Okay, now let's jump with the spacebar one time and go back to the split view and jump to the front view. And let's create a couple of curves in the draw curve panel. Let's select lines, polyline or you can press Alt 1 and Polyline allows you to create different lines one after the other. So click Start Point and I will left click here, left click again, 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 like this. And then right click to confirm. I will also make a circle. You can press the icon or Alt 5 for circle if you have my hotkeys and pick center point left click and simply drag it let's press spacebar and go back to the 3d view now to select objects inside the software you simply left click one time on the solids or curve that you want in this case i selected the box as you can see left click on the blank space it will be deselected so let's select it again and i will also select the sphere and the circle as you can see if i left click different objects they will be added automatically to the selection so you don't have to press the shift key or another combination box drag select from the top left corner to the bottom right corner and every object that uh, will be inside this square it will become selected as you can see you can also box drag select from the bottom right corner by holding down the left mouse button like before and every object that we touch it will be automatically selected let's go to the front view so spacebar and spacebar here on the front view if i drag from the bottom right corner as you can see i'm selecting the circle here as soon as i touch it and also the other curve however if i left click and drag from the top left corner as you can see nothing happens because i must enclose both of them to select both of them or only the circle in this case to select the circle you can also select faces, edges and points. So if I left click one time to select my box, if you notice when I over over with the mouse on a face or an edge, they get selected with a more saturated color. So if I left click on the face, now I'm in a face selection mode and I can add other faces to my selection. So I left click on this one and this one and now we selected those three faces. If I want to select the edges, same thing, I first select my object and then click on the edge and they are selected. If you have my hotkeys, you can click on one edge, the other edge next to it and then press Alt A and it will select the wall loop. This is very useful for making quick bevels, fillets and this kind of stuff. For selecting points, you must first select your object and then click on show points or press the P key to show them and hide them. And now, as you can see, we have the points. They are similar to vertices in a polygonal software and I can select them like this let's take a look at the browser panel left click on 
the browser icon here on the bottom right corner and I have three categories, objects, types and styles. Objects are the objects in my scene. Right now it says no named objects because none of these objects have a name assigned to them. Let's select uh, the sphere and as you can see here I have unnamed. If I left click on it I can give it a name like sphere. Okay and now it will appear on the object list. I can select it by clicking on this icon here. So select and deselect and I can also show it or hide it by clicking on the eye icon. The types category is independent from the objects. I can hide and show the different types of objects in my scene like for example the curves and also select them or select all the objects. Okay. Styles are the materials. I can uh, assign a material to the wall object or only to faces and edges. Let's take uh, the box and select uh, these two faces and click on the red. I have assigned this red material to them. I can also assign custom colors. So for example, let's uh, select the sphere. Let's click on this arrow and uh, add a new style. Let's call it purple. Color, I'll give it a purple color. Okay, okay. And now the sphere is purple. I can also add new materials to my list by clicking on the edit styles. I'll click on the add button or you can obviously click on the add new style but let's use the edit styles and uh, add, I'll call it uh, white, I'll give it a white color, okay, okay, close, and now I have the white. For ma manipulating and transforming uh, objects in your scene, you have different options. The first option is to simply left click on uh, the object you want, in this case this curve here, and you can left click and hold to move it uh, around. If you have the snaps enabled, as you can see, it will automatically snaps on the different axis and also objects, like uh, this circle here. You can use these symbols to scale it, and rotate it. The rotation is based on uh, your view. So if I jump to my top view and I rotate it, I can only rotate it in uh, this fashion here. And you can also move the points. So if I press the P key or click on show points, I will select these two points and move them. As you can see, I can move them in the space and P again to hide them. The second method is to simply use the transform panel with the transform tools. We have move, rotate and scale. Every tool in Moai can be activated by either selecting the object first and then the tool or selecting the tool first and then the object. In this case, I selected the move tool and then the object. I press done or the right click, pick base point, which means the point where the move transformation will start. I'll pick this and now I can move it on the space. If you have my hotkeys, you can press the G key, pick base point. Let's pick the center and move it up left click again. For the rotation, same thing, I'll click on the rotate tool, pick center of rotation, in this case let's say this, this uh, midpoint, left click, pick first reference point, in this case the X axis, and now I can move it because it is locked on the axis. These operations can be also done in the orthographic views. You can also press the R key 
or rotate left click here pick first reference point and as you can see it is rotating let's take a look at the scale tool so i'll uh, left click my object scale we have three different types of scaling the first one will scale the wall object pick origin point in this case uh, the center pick first reference point the z axis but uh, it doesn't change anything in this case and then i can move it as you can see scale 2d will scale the object in two axes at the same time so i'll pick this center of this face left click pick first reference point the x axis and now as you can see it is scaling in two axes scale 1d is what i set up for my hotkeys so we can press the s key pick origin point center then the scale direction in this case the x and i'll make it thinner like this left click again so that's everything for this video i hope you enjoyed it if that's the case leave a like to support the channel subscribe to stay up to date with the latest content if you have any questions comment below and i'll see you in the next one